No, I'm a chef. A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world. My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? Hello, my name's Paimon. Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature. Is it edible? <sighs> what a bummer. Can't eat it if it's your friend. You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too, called Guba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life, and I don't want to miss out. <sighs> Sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. <gasps> Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest hunters ever. <laughs> don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, aren't the freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment. It would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. I'm sorry. I got excited. <sighs> You should apologize to Draft. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. I made a mistake, and I should go... <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go!
I'd cut out to be a huntsman. Trap. I heard the whole story. Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Please, help me promote my meat. Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to when I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt. I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwei Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best-loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Mm, I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... <clears throat> What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... Uh, I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <laughs> Food cooked like that is destined to be boring. Period. <sighs> well... Since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? It's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! Hello! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? <sighs> Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Yeah, good point. Hmm. Maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. Well then, show me what you got. Uh, sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on, are you Xiang Ling? That's me. <gasps> it's really you. Well, I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsin flour. Kingsin flour? Bye. But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. 
It was I know. That's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. Atua, atua. I tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil, then throw in some joint. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's pure. Who wants to eat a rope? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop arguing. Well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. I declare a cook-off. Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft. All right. But if... And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wan Mean menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wan Mean is a seal. I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you. Wait! Wait! Let's try and catch up. I want to order with that. Would I go and walk? before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. But that's so risky. Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wan Mean Restaurant. Let's look around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Uh, don't there are two, you know? Some, some, huh? Here, here, here. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Oh, <laughs> 
It's not every day you come to Liyue. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. What's the hurry? Bantu tu nilai aje nak stress kan? Boleh. Aku stress tu nak. Boleh. Aku ayam tu kan? Bukan ayam tu jadi. Kami 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 si kuota. Kamu aje. Kau aja lah jombang ni. Thank you. 